Okay, welcome back to Aranda Gaming. I wanna talk about this game. So you will see what I have. I, it's a good hand. Neither plays a space time monster. It's a water monster with very good status of Toron. It's like with a dozen attack, I put it with a United Within, I guess 800 for each monster that I have in the field. Mega, 500 for each spell and top card. This one is gonna, is if you choose a really strong monster, will not be sick to tell because it will gain 100 attack of whatever attack he has. And this one I could put it with another input spell card from the deck and activate it to the monster, it puts it to the monster. So I have a good hand. So that's what I do. I put the. So he get no special, no other monsters except water. I equip all my. So I have a good hand. So you see everything's running fine, everything's going good. So he cannot special seven monsters at all. Um, he says pure spell and chapter from the bottom. And then he activates this card and both play monsters set a spell before activating them. It cannot be activated until the next turn. So I am so if I put a spell it's it will not be activated right away. Activated until the next turn. So look what I have I ended up having another one so it's like he has no chance to defeat me. Because I have this card I activated it says Add an equip spell card from your deck to your hand, and I flip it to the creator monster you control. So that means I could activate it because I'm not setting it, activating it right away. I'm not setting the spell on the field. So right now I'm really confident about a monster of 4,600, and in this game I was. Sending out Kaiba, even though I didn't have blue eyes, I felt like going for power and winning the game right away. So I attack because, yeah, I'm gonna win. He okay, so he activated Moon, so Tyre once face up much on the field, change to. Face down defense protection. So, like, even though she was in defense, I lost all the equips because Mega and everything I have, it has to be face up. And because it's facing down, I lost all the equip parts in the bottom equipped to this card. But it really doesn't matter because I have another one with this card. Any monster he chooses, uh, even a 3000, 4000 attack monster, even. 10 up in attack monster, mine will still get an additional 100 attack and destroy the monster. But because I'm feeling confident and I feel like I'm not even thinking about this, um, I'm just thinking, oh, I'm gonna win, I'm gonna win. There's no way he can defeat me. So, I pray. I know that if he put that card, he's telling me, hey, I'm putting this card right here. And this card is when a monster is summoned. Destroy all monsters in the field. So I can make a cool and I'm gonna summon no more monsters. Just with this card, I'm good. So I have this card face down, I think you can have a second one. Not hurt me because once I flip it, I have a spell. The top card, I could win the game. So I'm not keeping in mind on that, I'm thinking about power, thinking about winning the game. So, continue. He already showed me that. So what I did is I, I put this card that I had in the graveyard, put it back in the top of my deck, so I could put it with the, put the other monster too with the same spell card. So I attack him. Everything's going fine. I know he cannot special summon the water, so he, I don't think he has a water monster. So I'll bring this card back. I flip it, but guess what? 
but then I didn't know. I flipped that card, even though I have a good card right here, this one and down, that's why I need to win the game. I flipped it, but somehow, Torrential Tribute, when a monster is summoned, destroy all monsters on the field, so like, what? This one was face down, I didn't summon it, I flipped it, but I thought that's considered normal summon or summon somehow. Because I was face down, I flip it. Because I feel like it's flip. It's not summon, it just flip. But somehow this card gets activated. I knew that card was there though, so I didn't bring no monsters because I knew that card was there. So I have this card. Oh man, that card gets activated. It's gonna throw my monsters. So he did. I said, okay. So right now I say, no, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to win. I'm going to go for power. I'm going to go for winning somehow. I have this card. Any monster I bring in the field, I can win. There's no way. So he brings his monster. Now he's a lucky special summon. His special summon at 4,000. Attack monster. So I say, well, okay, I don't care. I can still win this game. He attacks me. I say, well, take four thousand. No matter, I'm still, I'm stuck here. No monsters on the field for me. Okay. I say, oh wow, I got this card. Immortal Phoenix Gear. Gear. Right. So this card is once I have an equip in my hand or deck, uh, I could bring this card up. And not only that, it could also uh, equip any control, uh, any monster in the field, negates it and equips it and then it destroys it. It's really cool. So I said, like, okay, I have this card, I'm going to win the game. So uh, I'm thinking again about power and I'm even thinking about strategy and I'm thinking about winning the game and here we go. Activate that card. So I really don't really care what he brings because somehow I feel confident. One card in my hand, I, I, I could win. It's something, all this is a learning experience because I didn't know that torrential tribute could destroy my monsters. So he negates it. I said, okay, that's fine. Uh, I bring, I'm gonna bring this card in my other turn. Cause he was like, a, like a, like a strong duelist. I could, he could defeat me the, at any turn, but he didn't. So this is one of the mistakes I did. I should have bring this card on the field. This is the very status of strong. This card is neither play Chris Summon except Earth. So I'm thinking, hmm. If I bring this card, he has no cards in the field. That one, he has only dark and dark monsters. So, Earth, I could attack with a thousand and keep attacking, but then I thought, well, he has to face down cards. That means he could destroy it if he has another tribute or dark coffin. Well, I'm gonna activate this card. I send him by one equipped card. That is shit from the graveyard to bring it. And then bring this one. And then attack and win the game. Okay. 3,000 plus a thousand is game. So that's what I did. I'll bring in him first. I still haven't banished that one. He takes some more damage. And then he brings a monster. Yeah, well, 2,200, I'm 3,000, I don't care what he does, 3,100, I don't know mind what he does, because 3,000, then I bring the other card, I should bring this card first, and then Somehow, what I was thinking to attack this one, somehow 
I believe it's this card. He lowered down my attacks and defense. Uh, attack. And somehow I couldn't attack because my monsters were low power. So, I continue on. He attacked and went to game. So, the thing is, is once you know you're going to win, just stay with your two cards. But it's a learning experience that uh, Torrential Tribute was able to do destroy my monsters. Even if I had to face down, somehow they got activated. In other words, next time I I gonna have gear or Phoenix gear, right? I should act, put the other cards so he cannot be special summon any monster and then I somehow bring. Uh, Gear right to the field, and then he has no chance of winning. Sometimes power and will make you not make you lose the game, but forget about strategies, forget about estimating your opponent that your opponent's feeling that you're you're good, but never underestimate your opponent because. And defeat like this, it's a learning experience, but in reality, I don't like my monsters losing, I don't like, I feel like if I lose the game, I don't feel like I lose it, I feel like my monsters, my warriors, or that they could have, I feel like I feel my own cards. So, thank you for watching, see you the, see you the next video. It's a learning experience. Um, a teaching moment for everyone that is out there hearing. Thank you. See you next time.